Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We're in Scorpion Bay, we're anchored up. We were hoping we'd be surfing this morning, but we haven't had a surf yet. I'm about to make lunch. I have prepared some bread rolls with my sourdough. Instead of making a loaf of bread today, I made some bread rolls because I received this in the mail, a beautiful cookbook for sailors. It's a cookbook and provisioning book. Our beautiful friends, Catherine and Dave and Maya made this book and they kindly sent me one. This book is absolutely beautiful. There's so many beautiful photos. Dave's a photographer and the photography and the photos in this book is spectacular. They have, uh, they're in Indonesia and so many great recipes. Anyway, look at this great recipe that's in here. Our sourdough made it into there. Catherine actually has a part of our sourdough mother. She has a descendant from Rosie, which is very exciting. Rosie has given off parts of her to lots and lots of different sailors, boats all the way around the world that is making sourdough bread. These guys are one of them. So I've made our bread rolls today. They're in the oven cooking, but meanwhile, I'm gonna make something out of this book because yesterday, Lee caught a fish. And it's very exciting because it was our first fish on Catalpa 2. We're not sure exactly what it was. It looked like a barracuda, but didn't have all the teeth and had a little bit different coloring. Um, we, I put it out on social media and I, we sent messages to our friends. We're like, what is this? Um, and someone said it was a snook. We looked it up, they're good eating. We ate the fish last night and we had sushi and it was delicious. Obviously, fresh fish is amazing anyway. Um, you're not supposed to eat barracuda that are too big. This one wasn't too big, so we felt like even if it was a barracuda, it was okay for us to eat it. And we uh, have been dying to eat fish, so. So today I am going to make the spicy Thai fish burgers with pickled chili salad because we have fish. Well, and there's so much good information in here. It's not just recipes. There's information about provisioning, about passage planning and making meals. There's so many things I love about this. Growing your own garden on your boat, which I, I am yet to do successfully. <laughs> making your own stuff, which I love. We, I make a lot of stuff on board and I feel very, very privileged to be a part of this with one little recipe in here. So the Catalpa sourdough. So if you also want to check out a video of me making uh, my bread, there is a video and I'll pop it up in the corner here as well. But if you'd like to buy this book, purchase this beautiful book, I'll put the link in the corner and probably down below. So go and check it out. It is really, really beautiful. They've done such an amazing job. So thank you so much for sending this book guys. Anyway, I'm going to continue and keep making our spicy Thai fish burgers. All right, we've got our fish. Recipe says to chop it up. So I'm just going to chop it up. All right, for the fish patties, finally chopped the fish, which I did combine them with soy sauce, sesame oil, crushed ginger, lightly whisked egg, breadcrumbs, and sliced shallots shape the mixture into the patties and refrigerate until ready. All right, I love coriander. There's coriander in the, the salad that I'm going to make, but I am also gonna add some into the patties because I love it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. Let's mix these up. We make mayonnaise on board, so I'm going to whip up some mayonnaise you've never done it it's really easy and I'm gonna show you how so all you have to do is crack an egg add some Dijon mustard squeeze lemon juice whatever vinegar tickles your fancy I like apple cider vinegar I'm not very good at measuring it's been a bit of a challenge following a recipe for me because I usually don't follow recipes so <laughs> I usually just cook like this <laughs> so following a recipe is new but it's good, I, I like to try things that are new. Put a little bit of salt in there. I make our mayonnaise with avocado oil. So first of all though, you're just gonna buzz this. If you are making it with a blender, you put that on, you whiz it. If you've got a um, processor that you can just turn on, you can stream, pour this in just slowly, gradually. So if you put all the oil in here to start with and whiz it up, it's not gonna work. But I don't set up my food processor because it's kind of big and this is kind of easy so all I do is I put this on buzz it until it's all mixed up then I put a tiny little bit of oil buzz it again tiny bit of oil until you've got a nice consistency I ran out of avocado oil so we're going with olive oil now you can use olive oil you can use coconut oil you just do a little bit at a time until it gets thick okay I can smell the bread rolls so let's see if they're ready Oh, 
Oh, they're getting that. I might leave them in just while we cook the burgers. I like them on a bit crispy. Because we like our bread rolls. Well done. <laughs> We're going to make the salad first. Uh, we're having a pickled chilli salad to go with it. It calls for a couple of cucumbers and I only had one that was savable. So I'm going to use one cucumber and two carrots because when you live on a boat, you have to get used to substituting ingredients, especially if you follow recipes because you run out of fresh ingredients and you can't always get what you need. So it's a really good practice today. We're going to substitute cucumber for carrots. Pickled chili salad, slice the cucumber into long strips using a vegetable peeler. Place it in a bowl and top with the marinade ingredients. Salt, sugar, vinegar, chili, onion, lemon juice, and the chopped herbs refrigerate for half an hour. I should have made it first. There you go, didn't read it properly. I don't have any fresh chili, but I do have some flake chili. So we'll pop a little bit of there. And I also have some pickled red onions. They say red onion, so I'm gonna put some pickled red onion because I actually prefer pickled red onion rather than raw. They're really easy to make too. You just add vinegar, salt, sugar, some water, and I live in the fridge. It's a really good thing to have when you're running out of vegetables because you can um, pickle carrots, cucumbers, red onion, and it just gives you like something kind of fresh to go on your food. Once your vegetables and things start to run out, if you're on passage, sometimes you can't get to a shop. So, you know, once you get down to the no, no salad option, it's good to have pickled vegetables in there. All right. Yum, yum diddly scrum. Looks really good. A little tasty, bro. Yum. Tastes like Thailand. Like fresh, yummy herbs. Mm. Mix wasabi paste with the mayonnaise. Let's do that. What did the chef say to the bee? What? Wasabi! About <laughs> that. Mix that around. I'm gonna put the pan on. Let's cook up these fish burgers. How the bread roll is looking. Pretty great. Watch out. Here we go. Flippity flop. This tastes so good, man. The salad is good. Oh, I'm so hungry! <laughs> I can't wait to eat it. Wow. Um, How are they? Yummy. I like it. Is that good? That is really good. It actually is. Catherine, I think they're amazing. I haven't eaten one yet, but. Thank you for the recipe. Check out that book, guys. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, they did such a great job and it's fed our beautiful, hungry family. This is the fish burgers. I obviously, theirs look a little bit better in the book. The Hunter and Gatherer. Check it out. It is a beautiful, beautiful book. And if you love cookbooks and you live on a boat, you need this in your galley. It's got so much good information in there, guys. Yummy. For every copy that is sold, they plant a tree which is so great. I'm really good. <laughs> a new favorite on Borgia Delba. Coming into this anchorage, we were silly and we left our rod out. <laughs> now we got one in, um, but the other one is wrapped around our prop. So Lee wants the leader and the lure. He doesn't want to go in and get it though. So I'm going in. Uh, the water is like kind of murky and cold. So it's not like I was rushing to jump in there, but here we go. I'm going under, gonna take my little trusty little uh, smacko on my back and we're gonna go and hopefully rescue our lure 
and our leader so we can catch some more fish because that fish that we caught, the snook, was absolutely delicious. And we had three meals out of it. We made sushi, some fish burgers, and Lee made some delicious fish cakes last night. So that was so worthwhile and we want more. But we're still anchored in Scorpion Bay. We're deciding whether we sit here and wait for some surf. There's some swell coming, but right now, I'm gonna go jump in the water, see if I can rescue our fishing line. A lovely little morning, a beautiful breakfast made by Bella, and there is a tiny, tiny little wave and we might go surfing after this. How I start my morning is super important to me and it sets me up for how I feel for the rest of the day. Sunshine, movement, yoga, and the ocean are what helps me feel good and supports my mental health. Healthy habits like drinking mud water is what gives me natural energy so I can make the most of my day. Thanks, Belle. Yum. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. Breakfast burritos, catalpa style. Cucumber salsa. And this is like my favorite. It's my favorite. Egg salsa, sour cream, jalapenos. Delicious. All right, we're going to shore, honey. We're going to shore. We're going to shore. We've been on the boat for eight days. We're going to shore. Woo! Let's go! Occasionally, I need to breathe. Stop me for a second, I got needs. Occasionally, I set them free. Don't hold me back now, I'm in the lead. This part of so cold life. This part so cold life. What a time to be alive. So bravely, steady steps on the ground Hate me, but I ain't never coming down Never coming down Cause lately, I've been dancing on my own So bravely, now they're round on my mind Hate me, but I ain't never coming down Never coming down, I'm never coming down Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.